not this month. Welcome to Monday News number 19 from this big old abandoned workspace in the Netherlands. And this is actually gonna be our workspace. But I'll talk more about that later because this month actually started not in the Netherlands but a bit more south. So we first need to go back a bit. Hey, so currently still in Portugal and last week we actually did a protest um, against uh, oil drilling in the coast in Portugal and they have never drilled for any fossil fuels and now they want to get started which is a bit old school considering there's a lot of renewable energy around so together with Tamera, the community I was a few weeks ago we did uh, aerial art to create awareness around the topic to make sure it doesn't happen and right now I'm actually in Porto in the north of Portugal visiting Opo Lab and they built the precious plastic machines and let me show you their workspace. We are in the Oppo Lab, uh, the uh, Fab Lab at uh, Porto, Portugal. And um, we are one of the, the people that are building precious plastic machines. Cool. Thanks to you. <laughs> So this is one of the things you made, right? So yeah, this is a, uh, we want to uh, put together um, a cargo bike uh, with uh, precious plastic machines. Um, and actually we, last uh, year we bring the, the machines and now this year we bring this uh, new uh, concept that uh, actually you can uh, use like pedaling it's using the, the shredder or you can uh, collect, connect it uh, to electricity. So a mobile workspace? Good. Yeah. <laughs> and actually it works very good. All right, cool. This is a... Um, this is Google. Hello guys. Hey. So we've developed a system where you can, uh, you can take uh, old water bottles, PT water bottles, and we cut them into strips. And then we, we can make a long piece of uh, plastic fabric like this, which can be used for all kinds of things, just, just up to your imagination now. It's a, it's a pretty, cool, uh, pretty cool piece of fabric with lots of potential. And huh? we make them out of junk uh, plastic water bottles, literally from the junk. Nice. So this is where the magic happens. So this is um, Tom. Yeah, expertise in building you know, precious plastic machines. <laughs> hey, How's it going? I'm Tom. <laughs> I, I make precious plastic machines. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, we, have a, we have a new set here uh, in the making. Uh, the compression here. It's an oven which we found on the street. Uh, here we have the extruder. This is the injection machine. And this will be the future shredder. And you're selling them on the bazaar, right? Yeah, 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 we're selling them, yeah, so... Uh, we do our best, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, it's, uh, it's really fun to, uh, to, to share, share the machines and to get them as, to as many people as possible who want them, so... Cool. Yeah, uh, thank you for people who are interested in our line, so it's nice <laughs> for us. So. Yeah, keep it up and uh, keep up the good welding work. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Dave, thank you, Precious Plastics community. So, <laughs> so you're the bazaar man, right? Yeah, uh, and then you 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 uh, should look there for us because uh, actually we are uh, selling a lot of machines to everywhere. How many machines did you made so far or sold? Um, quite a lot. Uh, yeah. Probably. Oh, well, uh, so we you're are good. getting on top. So <laughs> we would like to make a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to be the, the first supplier in the Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for showing me around. Bye. Thank you for coming and visiting. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was a trip to Portugal, and now we have to go back to the Netherlands. Yeah. So this space is huge. I mean, like. So this is actually what we're going to develop Precious Plastic version 4 and on next.preciousplastic.com uh, we're asking people to join us here in the Netherlands to develop this version together and we had over uh, 500 people signing up to really come here to help which has been just amazing 
And I'm always surprised that our views might be not high in these videos, but the amount of dedication people have and consistency of really wanting to help, that's just been, I don't know, amazing. So that means we had to do a lot of Skypes to, to assemble a, a good team, which is a, a nice, diverse male-female, but also from different nationalities around the world. But it's coming together. Hi guys, I'm Alicia. My name is Tim Slev. I'm from South Africa. I'm from Berlin in Germany. I'm from Moscow, Russia. Engineer in the United States. I'm from Paris. I'm from Brazil. I'm from Taiwan. I'm from India. I'll be working on design with a big extrusion machine. And I'm going to be working on the activism part of the project. New ways to sort plastic using robotics and general automation. I'll be working on building the extrusion machine. Do some engineering stuff and build machines and so on. I'm going to be working on finding solutions for plastic that's too dirty to be recycled. And I'm going to be developing a sheet press. Yes, and I'll be working on business planning. And I'm going to do graphic design. To build a surfboard. And I will be working on designing the user interface for the website. I will be chief team fun! Woo! I will be cooking food there. And I'm going to design some products for the sheet press and I'm really excited to know the rest of the team. I'm really excited and a mix of terrified as well, but it's going to be a fun experience. And I'm feeling excited! So they'll be coming here from September on, which is like now. So still some work to do. Um, and I've actually been working with Thomas on that, like making a plan on how to configure the space and uh, yeah, well, how to really turn this into a decent workspace, which is a lot of work, like like a lot, like we're really super busy, like no no time to do other stuff, busy, yeah. <laughs> I just realized that audio is probably very hollow, right, because of the, let me change the microphone. So this month we actually won another award, the Nature Vision 2018, the Kurzfilm Prize. It's for the video, the story behind Precious Plastic. I didn't even know this stuff could win a video, but that's pretty, pretty cool. Unfortunately, we weren't there to pick it up, so we had uh, a member from the local Precious Plastic community to go and get there. So thank you very much for getting it. And we had a Precious Plastic in Russia teaching Putin a bit about plastic. And we have a community member making surf fins from recycled plastic to put on a surfboard. I haven't tested it yet, but it looks beautiful. So uh, let me know if anyone tested it and how it works. And we have these knots made by a member as well. They, they don't look that interesting, but they're very well made and also just super functional from recycled plastic, which is interesting if it just replaces some usually daily objects by recycled plastic instead of new plastic, which makes total sense. But I'll put the link in the descriptions below so you can check them out. And in Australia, we have Precious Plastic Monash, who has been with a super big group of students. Are they students? Yeah, design students. Uh, working on uh, creating this mobile recycling plant, which contains the machine so they can recycle on the spot and move around. But they've just released a very nice video, but they also do everything very properly and thorough because they have a lot of manpower available and they just it's just interesting to look at, so I would highly recommend check it out. Link in the description below. And that's it for this monthly news. Now I have to get back to work to fill up this space and turn it into an actual workspace. And if you're here during the Dutch Design Week, which is the end of October, uh, the place is in the middle of the center. So we'll just open up our doors and we will be at work, but you can just walk around and see what we're doing, have a chat, have a lunch. So if you're around, make sure to drop by. If not, just follow the monthly news. Especially next month, because that's the one where we should be able to show you how we convert this empty space into a fully operating workspace with actual people from around the world in it. So that should happen next month. Thanks again for supporting and see you later.